Good morning folks, Drew's Farming Life back again today. Today I'm working on the plough and I am going back out to plough this field later. I've got the majority of it done. So that's the second field I'm in and I've only got one more field left to do after that. So things are moving very swiftly. Um, so turning these points because, well, there's not much left and it's going to start wearing the bolts, so better get them turned. Um, other than that, the plough's going really well. What's that? Ah, going to lose a landslide here. There you go. Got to check her over. Going to lose a landslide, that's no use. Um, Right, I'll put a new bolt in there. And I was ploughing late last night, so I never noticed this wee bad boy. <laughs> Can you guess what that is? <laughs> that is a lifter off of the combine. So it goes on the front of the combine, lifts the flat barley up when it's had heavy rainfall lifts it up into the combine header so dad might actually be quite glad to get this back <laughs> if i can get it off I'd probably need a hammer but yeah i'm gonna turn these points new bolt in there and continue checking over the rest of the plow so i can keep it right um I want to look after it but I've near enough cleaned all the bolts with the screwdriver just a wee bit in there uh, then I can get the ugga dugga gun on it and rip them off, flip them round and get going again. Aye. Bro. Put all these four on and tighten up just this last one. But look how much more wear there is now than well, just a wee tip up there. That's all the way out there. But new fresh points means only one thing ripping up more stones and potentially shearing them off as well because there's a lot more strain on them. Right. What a difference this thing makes for changing points. Speed's so much, so much quicker. So I've just got that to sort on this side then I'll flip it over. had to actually lost a point in the first field I was in um, so I had to put an old one on from the old plow uh, so it was sitting spare in the garage so it's been put on but I'll change it for a new one because when I flip these it's not going to be the same so I'll flip it put a new one on and I'll, I'll just take it off and put a new one on and then that'll be that and then I'll, they'll all be the exact same again so that'll be good but, uh, sort this, take that off with a hammer and then uh, uh, that'll be that and then I can get going again well that was easy mm. I could say there's a fair difference between that and the new one. Gonna need a new bolt. That one should be alright, maybe. <laughs> Finally, it's time to get going. We had a few things to do this morning. A gate to sort. Uh, well, sort of just after lunch there. Sort of gate that was uh, between the dry lot and the main lot, so it was better done because, well, <laughs> we don't really want the dry lot breaking into the main lot because then you'll end up with, if it goes unnoticed, potentially antibiotics in the milk and then major fines. But not really what we're needing, kind of need to keep everyone we're getting, you know, so. I'll go back to this field here I am in 
Uh, got all this to move out the road as well. Uh, I thought Dad would have moved it, but he decided to put the tanker on uh, rather than moving them first. I don't know why. But yeah, um, as you can see, as you can see as well, the hill is getting rolled. Uh, my mum's in the TM140 doing her bit. I finished up here last night at this end, so I'm not going to start at the bottom. I'm trying to match my ins and outs with the plow. I'm trying to keep it all neat, you know. Aye, no, it's a beautiful day. I'm in my t shirt. Not the first time this year, but it's really getting hot. Uh, last night when I was milking, we had the fan on in the parlour because it was. Oh, it was roasting. So. I, I think this week's to be a, a, a. what you'd call a heat wave, but saying that, like. yesterday was 15 degrees, which isn't that hot, but compared to what we've been getting, it's uh, summer. <laughs> Almost taps half weather, you know, compared to what we've been getting. Um, so, yeah, the fields are looking beautiful. Bit of grass starting. I actually think I forgot to. I have. I forgot to unsnack the thing that lets the plough get uh, wide. Can't wait what that was called. The check valve, maybe. It's a lever. Forgot to unsnake the lever, so now instead of widening the plow out, she'll just turn. And I'm not really wanting to be plowing at 12 inches. <laughs> so, I'll flip it over, make it easier for myself. Needs to be that way anyway. <laughs> Aye, last night's ploughing was going well. It went right through the middle of that wet bit with the plough. You can see the water on the top. I didn't get stuck, I just kept champing and it was fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was quite dark at the time, so I really wasn't able to record that. <laughs> I got a lot done last night. This field's fairly closing in, don't have much left, so I'll really need those trailers and the rake out of the way soon. There we go, now she'll be able to move. All the new points ready to stab the ground. That sun. start for the day shall we? <laughs> Look at that soil, beautiful. I've got a wee bit of a kink in my ploughing here because of the wet bit so I'm hoping to sort that out but then the next thing I've got is right there is a hole from draining a couple of years back we left that open for easy access to uh, unchoking the drain 
but she's never been filled in and obviously this bit's never dried up that well. So do something still no right. It's a shame because it was a lot of work we put in in here. Tractor's just about to start spinning its way through here. I don't have the <laughs> I didn't have the wheel slip on. The wheel slip helped me right through there last night. I need to reverse back and try again with a bit of speed. Lift it. wheel slip to keep the plow down because I had it set to sensitive. And it set perfectly which is why it looks alright going through the wet but I messed up <laughs> this time. Stone This bit's dead straight though, the way down the hill. Beautiful. There we are. Through the hole now. It's got another. Well, oh, because this plow's that wide, it looks like there maybe only needs to be one more run. Did you look how beautiful the plows look? Looking smart. I think that I have eradicated the kink from the wet bit over there, so it's now straight, I think. Well, this run might be it, but not sure yet. There's a seagulls here to eat my worms. Get away with yous! My worms! It is a beautiful day, I'm loving this. This is the kind of weather I want to see. Nah, there's a slight kink in it, but that's nothing compared to what we had.
matched up with the tip of the point here. I see all these wee V's I'm getting. Well, actually, this year we're making a conscious effort <laughs> to try and get it to match up so that my heat drags aren't as bumpy. <laughs> but uh, the bottom side is unavoidable because it's at an angle up here. The, the top line of the fence is a bit straighter, so I can do that. But hey, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. I'll see you all soon with something else, I'm sure. Maybe sewing because I've only got one field left to do after this. Uh, I'll see what else I can record. <laughs> Cheers guys, we'll see you all next time.